guys welcome back to another vlog i know it's been like two months or close to two months since i last vlogged and some of y'all have asked me why and honestly i mean there's no excuse other than well I went to el paso i went to miami um a couple days ago was thanksgiving and honestly i've just been kind of out of my element i guess is what i could say just with recording and stuff like that getting my life together um but i wanted to start today and today's video is actually going to be a little different so i've decided that since i'm vlogging i want to make these like episodes right so this will be episode one of my life um i just feel like with vlogging you know you're seeing like personal days right and very just unedited raw content i hope you guys enjoy it and i just feel like these are episodes or chapters of my life so this is going to be episode one i'm not going to go back and retitle other vlogs because frankly i'm lazy and i just don't see the need to do it so this is episode one um it's saturday it's a couple of days after thanksgiving and i just put up my tree look at this guys you see that it's amazing. I have some gifts already that I uh, wrapped actually before Thanksgiving. So I'm on the ball, you guys. Um, and then you can clearly see I have some decor behind me. I have decor, like little things, odds and ends, like Santa, a couple things over here. Um, the major thing I feel that I really enjoy is the staircase. So I have a garland, pre-lit garland, lots of stocking stuffers, got some little what are these called nutcrackers and then more stockings right here got some christmas going on this is just like workstation in progress have a little uh reef have some christmas trees over there don't really have much in here other than two gingerbreads and then have the placemat setting already and then like a little thingy my bob over there another garland with like little odds and ends that's pretty much it the house is christmas fine um, that's a word. I'm gonna make it a word and I did a couple of things in our front yard But I'm not gonna show you that because you know privacy, but now that I'm done Today is going to be a cleaning day and a black Friday shopping day There's a lot of glitter. I don't think the camera can pick up on it, but there's just like Just stuff on the carpet on the floors. I feel like the dogs are gonna get glitterified um, so that's why I'm in my working like, you know cleaning I don't know what you call it, cleaning outfit, I guess. Hair is in a bun, you know it's serious. So that's gonna be on the agenda today, just cleaning. I have one load in the dryer, one load in the washer. I think I have one more load to do and then I'm done with laundry. And part of the laundry actually is our bedding, um, the sheets and stuff like that. I typically do that like the first load because I don't know, for some reason, like the bed is such a challenge for me. And if I do it like the first thing in the morning, first load, just easier because I could just plop it on in a couple of hours and then the bed will be set. And it's just, you know, that's just the best thing about it, right? Like fresh sheets, you know, sleeping in fresh sheets. That's what I want. So like if I can't do anything else but get that done, my day will be set. But also, so I wanted to show you guys uh, where the tree is right now, uh, the Christmas tree. This is where this was, or this is where that was, I guess, that location in the living room but i'm really actually low-key liking it in our bedroom apologies for the comforter and the way but can y'all see that i really appreciate it like it's a cute reading nook right and we don't really have much these are just like two fake plants this is a real californian fan ivy um that is a what do you call it a lantern of some sort it's real um we just don't have it plugged in and then alex has some records and stuff like that under it um that we just haven't put anywhere else but we're probably just gonna leave it i really am enjoying this here it's great there's so much light in this room so that might become my new reading nook but anyways i have this handy dandy picker upper vacuum ready to go because i'm gonna sorry that was sounding so weird I'm going to vacuum in here. This is gonna be the first room that I tackle. Not much to do, just wipe down the counters. Obviously the bed sheets are in the, uh, in the dryer and then I'm going to vacuum and then I'm gonna head into the bathroom, which thankfully is not bad. It just needs like a little cleaning. Um, I'm thinking of doing the shower today. 
but I low-key want Alex to do it. It's just so hard. It's like, it's really hard because the walls, I can only reach so far, right? You know, I'm five feet tall and y'all are probably going to hear me say that for a lot because it's always my excuse. But in, but reality guys, like I cannot reach like up there. I can't even reach the freaking head, the shower head. So I might have him help me clean that, but everything else I can do. So that's totally fine. And then I'm going to head out into the living room, the kitchen, obviously clean all of that and then head upstairs, which not that much, honestly, I just need to dust. We don't really have like too, too much furniture up there, but again, just need to dust, do that type of stuff. And then as far as Black Friday, so I think y'all saw in the Christmas tree, um, I have some presents, but they're all for the kids in my family. And I bought two things for Alex already that I know that he will love and enjoy. But I need to now slowly over time within like the next month. Look at Hercules. <laughs> look at him. He's like looking outside. Um, I need to in the next month buy um, bits and pieces of presents, I guess, for the adults in our family. Um, I feel like... What? Look at him. I feel like this year... I don't want to do gift cards. I, I really don't. Like, I think last year I, I didn't buy for the adults last year. I just bought for kids. But the previous year I bought, I think, gift cards for family members. And I just want to make it more personal, you know. But I also want to make sure that it's things that they actually use. Like, I'm definitely that type of person. Like, you know, I'd rather you be blunt with me and tell me what you want other than me guessing. And like, oh, well, I think they might want this because I don't want to waste money. I don't want to waste the gift. I know, like, I want to make you happy. And so, the next month, I'm going to be slowly picking up presents that I know that people in the family will love. But today starts that because it's the Black Friday deals and got to hop on it, you guys. Some places are like 50% off. Um, I saw a place last night, it was like 50% with an additional 20%. So, like, I'm hitting those sales up. And also, so I have a gift card from Wayfair. And I found a console table that I want to put in our entryway because our entryway is like nothing. And I really want to buy it with the gift card. The gift card will cover like majority of it and I'll just have to cough out like a, you know, a few extra dollars. But I think it's going to be worth it. And I might just do that. Yeah, I might do it. We'll see. But last night they had it out of stock and I was on a wait list. And I got an email this morning saying that it's back in stock. But who knows, guys, I might have waited too long again. So, yeah, so that's going to be on the agenda today. Um, yeah, let's just get started with the cleaning.
All right, guys. So basically, that whole room is done. Very simple. Um, I only had to dust because I did off camera. I wiped the surfaces and stuff like that. So this room is done. So I'm just waiting on the sheets and stuff to get out of the dryer. Now on to the bathroom. This is gonna take a little bit of time just because I need to sleep. I do need to mop. I need to go over the counters and stuff like that. And the reason why I'm wearing a mask is because I really hate the smell of the uh, all the cleaners at once. So I'm hoping that this can, can help with that. I know, right? Like my COVID mask. But this is gonna take a little bit of time. And then hopefully by, by the time I'm done with this, Hopefully the sheets will be done and then I'll be done with the bedroom and the bathroom and I can just go about the living room and kitchen, which isn't going to be that bad because it's pretty much clean. I just need to vacuum and just re-wipe the surfaces. So let's get to it.
I just finished the bathroom. Oh my God, my hair is a mess. Uh, can't show you it, Alex just hopped into the shower after he just worked out, so that's done. So now I'm moving on to the living room and I thought while I'm doing it, I'm going to light that cranberry candle. I was gonna do it in the bathroom to mask the smell of the toilet bowl cleaner just because I really don't like it, but no, it's not gonna happen. I decided, let me see if I can do this real quick. Let me put you down. I decided to light it in the living room instead. And yes, this is not necessarily a lighter, but it gets the job done. So how is that? So cute. Um, now that's gonna go and I can smell cranberry while working in the living room, the breakfast nook area, and the kitchen. I don't even know where to begin, you guys. Um, hmm. I do need to vacuum, but I don't wanna, you know what, no, I'm gonna wipe the counters. Um, I vacuumed the couches yesterday. So that doesn't need to be done. That took some time. So I don't need to do that right now. Sorry guys, I was getting some little, I don't know what you call these decor things. I put them on the couch, but they need to go in the trash. Um, so I'm just gonna gently wipe all of the wood and then vacuum just around, mostly here really, just like lightly do that. I already did that side, but it really needs to do this walkway. I'm gonna fluff up the couches, um, just kind of gently wipe down the, I guess, window sill. And then that's pretty much it for the living room. And then I'll go to the breakfast nook later. But, so, I forgot in our washer room, uh, this, let's see that door right there. I found more decor, you guys, from last year. So I'm really excited. So I'm actually gonna, you know, I'm gonna put this right here in the breakfast nook. That way I don't forget it. And I'm just gonna put up whatever's in that bag. So that'll be really cool. But let's get the show on the road. We're almost done cleaning. Like I said, it's not that much. Um, the biggest part is just vacuuming, but everything else is pretty much done. And then take out the trash and stuff like that. Then Black Friday shopping. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple of hours and honestly I was looking at Black Friday stuff but I didn't really find anything interesting so I'm passing on that. But um, I am in my closet and I'm trying to rearrange a couple of things. So I started, well those have been up there, my shoes, but I'm going to put some more shoes in these cubby holes. And then I have a couple of pillows that I need to put upstairs. I have a couple of, um, what do you call these? just like bags basically. They have like old household items that we just don't wanna part with just yet. And some pillows that you can see behind me. Those are gonna, I don't know, I'm thinking of putting them upstairs. Well, definitely the pillows. But the old household items, I might buy a storage bin and just put them up in our attic. And then that's pretty much it. Um, we do have a mirror, man, low key. So Alex's parents are coming in a couple of weeks and this is a mirror that's supposed to hook onto our dresser and we just haven't done it. I want to see if his dad could help us put that up because it is really heavy and we need more than obviously uh, one person and it's just like I'm not coordinated so Alex doesn't trust me with that. So I'm hoping that him and his dad can put that up in a couple of weeks. So that's also staying in our closet. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Um, gonna do this real quickly off of camera and then um we can finally head into the kitchen i did the rest of the living room um i couldn't film at all because the camera died but that's totally fine there wasn't that much like i said it was just vacuuming but i'm gonna go to the kitchen and then you can see me do the kitchen um today's just honestly been too stretched out in my opinion but 
it's whatever. That's honestly what I had planned today. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So this is the finished product with all of my shoes in this little cubby hole area instead of being on the floor. Um, so now I am done with our closet. However, I haven't put everything up that I'm going to um, in our guest bedrooms such as these pillows and a few things that I have in the living room. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It, look at that. It's starting to get... I hate how this camera takes a while for, for it to like focus, but it's starting to get very, um, I guess like Twilight-esque. So I just put everything that I wanted out of the way from our closet into partially the garage and up in one of our guest bedrooms upstairs. So now I feel, I don't know, I feel better, you know, like I'm going to fix my ponytail, but I feel like our closet now is more bright and spacious. Um, that could just be like, I don't know, like a mind effect, you know, just like, oh, it's clean. Therefore, it's like bright and cheerful. Um, but that is done so I can finally check that off my list. So the closet is done The bathroom is done. And so what I'm gonna do now That right there. Well, not this but behind it. There's a pile right there that is clothes and My sheets, so I'm gonna do the bed put a couple of the clothes away Like I said, I still have stuff in the dryer that's being dried and then I have stuff in the washer It's the last load and then I'll finally be done with laundry. So yay, I'm so glad I don't have to do that tomorrow. I'm really going to try you guys to do all of that today. And then last but not least is the kitchen. I know I keep saying that and it's like, for y'all it's so easy because literally I'll just like cut to the kitchen after I'm done with this. But for me, it's like hours. I've literally spent, you know, hours today just doing this. But I will say, I will admit, you know, I was kind of low-key chilling a couple of hours doing Black Friday deals going on Instagram, but this is what I'm gonna do Can't wait and then how am I gonna reward myself you guys? I don't know. It's so dreary outside It's it's been rainy. It's cold, but I love this type of weather. It just feels I don't know like you know how people say like spring is there like a rebirth type thing? You know everything's growing but for me my like spring cleaning is when it starts getting cool and you can like open up the windows and like air out your house and really start cleaning from things from the summertime slash fall i guess it's because it's coming it's i mean it's going to be winter pretty quickly i mean it's already here in texas well you know like texas-esque winter but yeah it's starting to get dreary so i think tomorrow um i don't want to open up the windows today just because i don't want like any chance of rain to get in and like get on the carpet but I think tomorrow's not going to be raining, but it's going to be cool. So I might open up the windows, uh, at least in the morning time, just to like air out the house. And if you don't know what that is, I mean, airing out the house is so refreshing. You just feel like your house is breathing, you know, like recharging itself from constant, constantly being closed off from nature, basically. So I'm going to hop into this. For y'all, it's going to be like a mere second or two, but for me, it's going to take some time. Let's see. Something to buy, to put a bug, yeah. 
Ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba ya. Set the pedida da da ba da da. Boya, da ya ba ya ba ya. Sunlight that always stays. Dinner by the waterway. It's that sweet life. Raise your cross. Made some do crack a smile. He asked if I could stay a while. I'm living that high life. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro, to and fro. Back and forth, yeah. Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway. Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah. Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah. My heart's in Stockholm. Now I never wanna go home. I left my heart in Stockholm. She said I already told ya, yeah, yeah. I never dated a black guy. I said you're brown yourself. Let me offer help. Come on inside. Well, everybody knows your name. Everybody knows your name. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro, to and fro, back and forth. Yeah, caught some kids dancing in the alleyway. Crazy how the melodies began to play. Yeah, tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric. Yeah, my heart's in Stockholm. As you could you know see a few seconds ago I'm done with the bed and I'm done putting up the first load of laundry but I just wanted to come on here I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in quite some time and there just been a couple of things on my mind recently that I've kind of just been working through and hear me out you know it's a lot of like goals ambitions things that I've been um, really watching on YouTube I guess that inspired me with this so lately, and what I mean lately, like the past few months, I've been watching um, YouTubers that live off grid, who harvest their own food, they do things for themselves, you know, they, they're out there building yurts and, uh, what is it called, like greenhouses and raised garden beds, and then, you know, you see their house and it's so clean, or not like super clean, but it's very organized in their way and they're eating what they have on hand and they're being very conscience, conscientious of their spending habits and it's just like i'm so excited right and i'm so ex like inspired um with these people's like living habits and i know not everything you see 
It's Callie. Wait, I know not everything you see on YouTube is real or you know, you only see like very like small snippets of their lives and it just combined, but besides all of that, it's just like really inspiring and really exciting to see how they live. Oh my God, now Hercules is like scratching himself. Lord, okay. Um, and it's just really exciting. So a couple things that I've been setting my mind to and having goals is saving and budgeting. So, um, I recently paid off Coco. Yay. Woohoo. That's my car. And so now I have my student loans and I've been paying, uh, the minimums on my student loans since COVID happened. Um, I'm not putting too much anymore. Like I'm really trying to see if the deferral process, like if it continues in January or it's not. I'm thinking it's not, but with that being said, I'm beefing up my savings and watching these YouTubers and like hearing their goals, like their financial goals, you know, they don't go too, too deep in numbers and I'm not uh, going to do that either. But watching them has just like really inspired me to start bulking up my savings. And so for the past, I would say month, my mindset has shifted to bulking up my savings and being mindful of my spending habits and you know if you know me my spending it's mostly on food like homemade food i don't eat out that much i don't buy clothes i don't buy makeup i mean clearly right um mostly skincare skincare and makeup uh, not makeup skincare and food it's my my go-to spending so I'm really being mindful of what I'm eating and I'm shopping my pantry, shopping my freezer, um, which that's been a struggle, but it's I'm working on it. It's happening slowly but surely. I'm starting to see my pantry and freezer dwindle down and I always go back and forth with, okay, should I like hoard food because of the pandemic or the zombie apocalypse? You never know. Or should I be the type of person, you know, just what she has is, uh, you know food that she's got in that week or you know I do want to build a raised garden bed I've talked to Alex about it but I haven't been like super serious but I've been watching people you know do it and it seems really easy I know it's like winter time in Texas but I want to take a stab at it and and practice and like build it myself and you know if I can do that and like uh store the food in I don't know, my pantry and my freezer where it's fermented or I make jams or it's just, you know, vegetables that I can, you know, put away and, you know, eat them later on. Like, I really want to do that. And so I think right now I'm the person who buys what she needs and I'm basing my meals around what I have in my freezer and pantry. Eventually, once I'm done with everything that I have, I can just start buying things um, weekly and I have a set goal of how much I want to spend each week so I've been very mindful of my spending habits another thing is living with intention living happy you know just making the most out of everything that happens to you and this has been a struggle for me it's I mean it's not hard you know but it, it's easier said than done and I just I mean this is gonna take forever to I mean, it might take my whole life really to, to develop this habit, develop this mindset of, you know, loving yourself and being kind and, you know, putting intention into, into how you live, you know, not just going day by day kind of mindless, you know, like, have you ever felt like that where, you know, you wake up one day and you just like watch TV and you binge Netflix and the next thing you know, it's like 10 p.m. You haven't eaten, you haven't done your, you know, your laundry, your responsibilities as an adult and you're just like, what the hell am I doing? You know, like I feel like you're wasting your life away. And so um, I've been using my productivity planner, which I've talked about, I think in previous episodes, I know I've talked about it on Instagram. Uh, it's by Intelligent Change, aka Mimi and Alex Icon. Um, follow them; they're amazing. I love them. Um, I love their products, and so I've been using my my productivity planner, and I've been planning out my days, uh, what I plan on doing, you know, how I plan on doing it, that type of stuff, and it's really helped, you guys. Um, it, I do it for personal. I don't do it for work. I'm separating the two, but it's been amazing. And so, you know, today was my cleaning day. 
in my vlogging day and so i've gotten a lot of stuff done like i feel pretty accomplished i just have a few more things and then that's it but that's kind of what you know i've been thinking of is living with intention you know loving yourself thanking yourself and being soft when you need to be especially when it comes to goals because i am an aggressive person when it comes to getting shit done and it really sucks when i can't finish something uh, at the time where I'm like, hey, like I'm gonna finish this and then I don't. But I'm learning to be soft with myself and you know, taking things day by day and that's been a struggle, but I'm working on it. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of like the things, the ideals, the concepts that I've been working with, just saving, budgeting, eating what I have on hand, really, I mean, it ties in with the first one, but really eating, being healthy, um, I haven't really been exercising. I've been walking a lot and um, just kind of taking it day by day. I'm not the like the huge person who like lifts weights and stuff like that. Never have been. I know I probably should, but getting outdoor exercise and maybe doing construction with the raised garden bed, really. I have a actual herb, uh, what do you call it? Um, like a herb garden setup that my mom got me like it's basically like a wooden I don't know console I guess and you can just hold different types of herbs I have that but I think it's too cold to put herbs in there because it's an outdoor thing and Alex would never allow me to you know bring it inside but maybe that will be my my outdoor exercise just building things and, and cleaning and exercising but right now I'm focusing on my health by eating and getting vitamins in which I need to I need to really do that you guys I just feel kind of overwhelmed with that stuff you know like you see all these things that you need to do to take care of yourself and all these different types of vegetables and superfoods and it's just like oh god it's so much even thinking about it I'm like I feel see this is the part where you have to like take it day by day and be slow and soft with yourself because even now like I'm just like how am I going to incorporate all of these veggies and fruits in my day and like these seeds and nuts and you know when I'm, my mornings like I don't eat breakfast like I just prefer coffee and water in the mornings and then like I only know a few recipes like I'm trying my hand at, at several recipes but it's so hard you know like I mostly like stews and casseroles I don't like individual I don't know like I can't just eat raw food and it's just it's been a struggle ah oh, but anyways enough of this rant um I'm frankly gonna go drink some water because I'm very thirsty from talking I'm gonna eat some food and then tackle the kitchen finally afterwards I'll take a shower because I'm starting to feel very gross you guys but let's see Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway it's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some dude crack a smile He asked if I could stay a while I'm living that high life Time to catch a flight but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro Back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in Stockholm Now I never wanna go home I left my heart in Stockholm
She said, I already told ya, yeah, yeah. I never dated a black guy. I said, You brown yourself. Let me offer help. Come on inside. Everybody knows your name, everybody knows your name Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro, back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feeling when you hear the lyric, yeah my heart's in style Now I never wanna go home I left my heart in style Now I never wanna go home Putting up the mop in our closet. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this. This is our um, laundry room. It's kind of cool. Has a lot of storage for all of our um, household supplies, and then this like goes all the way back, and we just have like various stuff, as you can see. Um, as you can tell, I'm on my last load. And it is in the dryer. Let me turn you guys around. Um, I still look a hot mess, but I am 
about to take a shower. Thank God, because I know y'all are tired of seeing me look like this. Oh, look, my gray hair. Do y'all see that? <laughs> I have a lot of them already. I'm going premature gray, basically. Um, I feel like I have more stuff to do, but I really don't, you guys. Like, I, I'm looking around. It's like I have this load of laundry. Actually, no, I need to... Um, I need to fold clothes. I put some on the bed and I forgot about them. Yeah. Let me get my water. Baby Calypso over there. Oh, laundry is done. So as you heard before, my laundry finally buzzed. So I'm officially done with doing laundry. Now I just have to fold, which there's a couple piles. Oh my God. Look who just came in. Miss Calypso herself. Look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me close this door. Hercules actually might be coming in. So I'm probably just like, gonna wait a little bit for him to come not gonna play any podcast or anything because it's hard to hear him when he comes to the door he doesn't bark or anything like that or like scratch the door but sometimes you can hear him slide a little bit because his back leg it's well his only back leg um he has to like the way i guess he goes down to the floor he has to like slide so sometimes i can hear it but yeah so <laughs> i really don't want to do the laundry but i know i'm gonna have to so
recording just stopped so the only thing I need to do is clean the um, half bath downstairs like the toilet and stuff so I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or tomorrow um, I'm kind of just getting really lazy and lethargic uh, as you could tell like I just ate and so the turkey's doing a number on me guys it's making me really sleepy so I don't know but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Not much happened other than me getting my life together and cleaning the house. But everything's done. So I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want more content. As always, you can find me on Instagram at JessicaTheAustinite. Um, I'll have that obviously in the description box below. But yeah, it was nice seeing you guys. Bye.